Ladies and gentlemen, I, I feel honored and, and uh, privileged to be here today to officiate at the opening of the blooming Inside Art Exhibition, a Yellow Ribbon Project. Uh, let me give you a brief history of the Tangimori Art Gallery in front of you. Fiji Correction Service officially opened the Tangimori Art Gallery on the 15th of October 2008. And this was an initiative organized by the former uh, Commissioner of Corrections uh, Service, Major General Iwane Naivalua. Polunaka PS. Thank you, Tavuni. In his effort to recognize um, and develop and expose the talented inmates <coughs> that were within the institution, and additionally the painting and artistic development was in itself a rehab program. Now, to qualify for this rehabilitation program, the inmates had to meet certain criteria of participation and achievement in the preliminary uh, rehabilitation phases. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture also, I'd, I'd like to commend Mrs. Jane Ricketts, a volunteer art teacher, <laughs> who has been instrumental in developing and working with the, with the inmates identified to participate in the program from 2008 till today. And a warm round of applause again for Mrs. Uh, Ricketts, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, some of the inmates who had worked under her guidance have developed into outstanding artists. And uh, as a result, two artists uh, won prizes in national painting competition, while paintings produced from the gallery were auctioned in China to raise funds for Cyclone Winston uh, appeal. Interestingly, though, and I think we need to thank uh, the former ambassador to China for that one. Interesting, one of the paintings also, ladies and gentlemen, um, that was sold became the highest priced artwork that also contributed towards the Cyclone Winston appeal. And 60% of the proceeds um, collected from the painting sold for this particular one goes directly to the inmates' bank accounts, uh, which they will collect uh, once they are discharged or, or during approved circumstances. The other 40% goes towards uh, purchasing of painting materials and other necessary tools and equipments. Um, <clears throat> it's important to note that the rehabilitation program does not only assist the artists therapeutically and financially, and it also encourages them and those who wish to join to abide by the rules of the institution. And what such rule is the banning or disallowing of, of body tattooing, which could lead to serious health issues. It's also an anticipated, ladies and gentlemen, that the work, the artwork produced would convincingly attract uh, visitors and help them understand that even those who have fallen on the wrong side of the law also have inner beauty, inner beauty to express. It is also important to uh, win over such visitors as friends and have them assist the Fiji Correction Service in reintegrating former offenders. It is believed that the successful uh, reintegration of offenders into the community uh, would be the best form of rehab, uh, given that they would not want to reoffend. It is for this reason, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, that the theme blooming inside was chosen. Whilst the exhibition is mostly about colorful and beautiful flowers, uh, the challenge is, is really truly to see the beauty expressed by these artists through their paintings and not by their bedside. And the theme of the exhibition blooming inside simply expresses the work uh, Fiji Corrections is relentlessly pursuing, which is to harness and expose the goodness uh, and the beauty of our inmates. And furthermore, to establish this goodness so they could once again became, become a contributor and a productive member of their respective communities and to our society in general. Even though the theme uh, blooming inside may not exactly sound like a climate change awareness program, it most definitely supports the conservation and respect of nature in every way. And more importantly, the theme actually sends a strong message that people must harness the beauty and goodness inside them to be able to witness and embrace the importance of things that surround them, especially nature. 
I've been informed, ladies and gentlemen, that the uh, most that most visitors who do visit the art gallery are, are touched by the flower paintings. And this is because they know that flowers usually express the celebration of joy and beauty and the regeneration of life. But seeing these expressions emanating from uh, corrections institutions makes them realize that we are all human beings and everyone actually deserves a chance. A second chance to make things right and express the beauty of what they can positively contribute to. And therefore I urge all of us present here tonight to support the contributions made by the Tangamoya Art Gallery and the Yellow Ribbon Project as a whole. I can relay a particular personal story with respect to, as you all may know, that I, am a, I was a lawyer by profession. And I've also personally taken on board uh, a whole lot of people who have come out of prison and just shown them a little bit of love and it has worked wonders. And I certainly hope that... And today, I must say this, today, some of them stand as some of my best friends. And all they needed was a little guidance. So I urge you all to support this particular course today. And I urge us all he present here tonight to support the contributions made by the Tangamoya Art Gallery and the Yellow Ribbon Project as a whole. I'd like to also take this opportunity to acknowledge the work done by the Fiji Correction Service to the Commissioner, Commander Keane, and your hard-working team. Thank you very much, sir. Big vinakwa to you for the great work done. And thank you for your sacrifice and your endurance right throughout the year. And thank you for being the pillar of strength and a real hope for all the inmates. And I encourage you all to continue the good, um, good work and never lose hope in the work that you do. To the spouses and the family members, thank you for your continued support and thank you for having faith in what they do. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, with those few words, I once again congratulate the organizers of today's event on a successful opening and I wish you all at this time a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So, thank you very much.